Okay, we're still talking about division with real numbers, and we've said that dividing by a number is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal of that number. And I want to point out that in algebra, this is actually how division is defined. The definition of division is multiplication by the reciprocal. Now in elementary school, we learned about division like this. We said if you take something and you divide it, that, that literally means to divide it up into pieces. So say we had something like this. Here we have six blocks all in a row. Let's make sure that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And suppose we want to divide that by three. Well, we literally divide it into three pieces like this. So we would have a set of two blocks together. That's that first piece. Um, another set of two blocks and another set of two blocks. If we divide it into three pieces, then each of those three pieces has two blocks in it. So, in other words, six divided by three is two. And that's how we learn about division in, like, uh, back in third grade or so. And that's a fine way to think about division. And that works well with ordinary numbers or simple objects. But that doesn't work well with variables or complicated expressions that we run into in algebra. In algebra, the quotient a over b, and you can fill this in in your notes also. In algebra, the quotient a over b is defined as a times 1 over b a times the reciprocal of b. That's how division is literally defined. So just as some examples, let's, uh, let's do these. Simplify the following. These, uh, these lines are really thin. I'm going to mark over those to make this clear. 5 divided by 10 over x. What is that? Well, that's the same thing as 5 times x over 10. And we can simplify this a little bit the 5 and the 10 both divide by 5 to give us a 1 and a 2 and we still have the x here in the numerator so this simplifies to x over 2 and we were able to simplify that answer or simplify this original expression by remembering that dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of the fraction Here's some more examples. A divided by 3 over x, that will be the same as A times x over 3. And you can think of the A as being an A over 1, and this would be A times x over 3. That's how we would write the answer. Okay, this next example, 2 divided by A, or 2 over A, that fraction, divided by this fraction, 6 over b. Well, think of it as this thing divided by that thing. And dividing by that thing is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of that thing. So I'm going to keep my 2 over a the same. Don't flip that over. 2 over a divided by 6 over b is the same as 2 over a times b over 6. The, the fraction that we're dividing by ends up getting flipped over because dividing by this is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of that. But uh, don't flip this fraction over because we're not dividing by this fraction. Okay, so 2 over a times b over 6. And we can simplify this a little bit. The 6 and the 2 reduces to a 1 over 3. So I'm just left with a, a b in the numerator and an a times 3 in the denominator, which I would typically write as 3a. So b over 3a is the answer.